Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons. If you're first time here, welcome. You'll have to bear with me today. I am struggling with a major migraine, probably from sinuses and allergies, but taking some medication and I think we're gonna be okay. Two days ago, I was feeding the axolotls, making the first part of this video, and we needed to test the water parameters of the tanks that are cycling for them. The axolotls had some, they were shrinking essentially, and didn't look very healthy. So I put them both in quarantine to recycle their tanks. And this seems to happen every summer. So we're gonna test the water on each of the tanks. I have a couple of other videos about testing your axolotl's water. If you're curious, go check those videos out and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Before we get into the video though, do me a huge favor. Go down there, like, subscribe, ring that little notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. It super helps the channel. All right, let's take a look at our water parameters. Just doing a couple of water changes here. We got Mr. Frank hanging out with his air stone. So what I do is take the pitcher, create suction to kind of get him to go into the pitcher, come up, and then I hang him here with his air stone while I get clean water and a fresh ice bottle. Then we use Seacomb Prime, just a little squirt of that in the water. And then Mr. Frankie goes back into his enclosure. So we're going to take water stone out, drop it in there like that. Take Mr. Frankie here. Hanging out. And then we just slowly let the water acclimate in there with him. Then tilt. And out comes your axolotl. I'll start flicking his gills here in a second. So while the axolotls are in quarantine, that's kind of how we change the waters. Every single day, almost 100% water change. I do have to take a little bit of the water from the previous water just to keep them in. But uh, yeah, their gills are looking much, much better. Now we just gotta do beans, give him an ice bottle, keep them cool. And then we need to test their water parameters in their main enclosures. It's been a couple of weeks, so I don't think they've cycled yet, but they did have filter media from their old setups, which should have all that beneficial bacteria already in there. May have jump-started our cycle, so we'll check. I'm gonna try to film this at the same time. At the time that I'm doing this, so let's come in here, down. This is not like water change. Buddy. Not working quite how I want it to. There we go. Got it. It's a little too much water. A little bit of it out. There he is. Okay. So then here's his water stone. I'll just put his water stone right in here. 
We're gonna go dump this old water out. Look at those bills coming back. Looking good, buddy. you after this. It's cool to see come. Okay, so what I have here is my turkey baster. These are going to be very common in the axolotl hobby because you use them typically to uh, get the poop out. We are going to use this today to set some water already in here and we're going to put it into our test tubes and then we're going to test the water. Testimonia first. Eight drops of the first solution. Eight drops in a second. Set aside. Five minutes. Nitrate. Five drops. Set aside. Five minutes. So first 10 drops of the first solution. You cap it and you mix it. But while you're doing that, the other solution has to be jiggled. 30 seconds. changes for the axolotls. So that's what we'll do now. Just over five minutes. So let's take a look at our results based off of our chart. Here. Okay. So here's our test. Oh, well, the light went off. It helps with color. There we go. So as you can see, we're right here in this range. Right in between there, I would say. So ammonia levels, not bad. We could use maybe a small water change. Let's take a look at the other parameters we have. The next up is going to be this one right here, nitrite. And you want this one to be pretty much blue. And if we look at this, we're right on point. Pretty easy to tell. Last one. Going to be this one all the way over here, nitrate. Now you want this one to be under 40 parts per million. So this is what we have: we've got light orange, which is pretty much perfect, exactly what we wanted to see. So that was Frankie's tank, and I did Frank's tank after I set up Bean's tank. Okay. 
to Bean's Tank first, and then I set up Frankie's Tank. So Bean's Tank has been cycling a little bit longer. So I'm gonna rinse these, and we're gonna repeat. I'm gonna go rinse these out. We're gonna test, test out his water. to have a towel or wash rag on hand when doing stuff like this when dealing with water. It's a pro tip. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. about five minutes. Let's take a look at our water. First up is ammonia. Okay, we're right at the yellow mark. Good to go. Nitrite. This column here, we're good. Nitrate. Orange. right there. So these water parameters look really really good. I'd say they're probably good to go back into their regular enclosures. I do have to do a few things like set up their bubble bars in order to do that so it'll probably be then about a week or so we'll go ahead and get that set up and then go ahead and put the axe models back into their regular tanks and get them out of quarantine to free up a little bit of room here in my office. So, that being said, that's really all I had for today. It is hot out there, y'all. Sparkling water, I love these waters, waterloo waters. We drink a lot of sparkling water in our house, and these waterloos, I don't know if you're able to get them where you're at, but man, they are refreshing. We're certainly not sponsored at all by waterloo waters, but Hey, that's okay. Free advertising. We love them. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Peace. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Frills on their gills were starting to depreciate or deplenish. They were shrinking essentially.